Leave it down. Okay? Now the next guy will will run one, two, lift that and bring it back. The second guy, right? Second guy lifts that, brings it back. Oops, up leaves it here. And runs two more. Oh, and brings this one back, okay? Oh, a mess. And leaves it down here. So I'm back now more or less to where I was. He's not afraid of anything. But he is somebody might distract him. And what you want to say to yourself, Corey, and you want to talk to yourself. Imagine talking to yourself, Corey. It's a great idea. Talking to a nice guy. Nice guy talking to you. But it's very important. I'm going to watch so I don't give a damn who's coming. You want to say that? And I'm going to watch until I have it in my hands. And then, heaps of choices now. I can go that way or this. And I have four steps. And also, I have a back out there. I could pass it if necessary, you know. But I can take options. But you must concentrate on watching. How many all islands have been knocked over that very thing? Even last year's all Ireland in the early moments, Galway, that was all about with the poor chap, you know. Poor chaps is there. Hop and root. <laughs> but it's, it's a desperate thing. You must concentrate completely on that. The ball coming in, coming in, coming in. If you don't concentrate, your your luck. And get to use your hand for it. I'm sure you do. It's terribly important. Because really, when you have the ball in your hand, well, you have all the options then. You can go left, you can go right, and easily, four steps will easily clear you out of the square. Easily. And once you're out here, you could even drop the ball and let him drop it down wide, couldn't you? You know, you, if you wanted to, which you might. But you know, you have options. But, and you can go right as well. And you should never hit it in the square while you're still in the square, you know. It could be blocked. It has been blocked. And then the scores have come through it. Now, that's only one little drill, lads. There are ones in a circle too, and actually, um, we talked about lifting, of course, but even there now you could see, I could see, and you, if you were looking after the lads, could see where the job was done wrongly. The pickup was wrong. Because a common practice is that you get to the ball and you stop. Do you know, if Pat will do that now, for instance, Pat, what's Pat not picking this up? He won't stop at all. Pat, what? He's playing an actual black rock, bang, up, and he's still moving. You see, and he can turn left, he can turn right. And the dog can say, ah, Pat is easy me. He has no left hand. You're blooming well wrong. I saw an order and he gets right for Pat and with the lift over on the Blooming Wing, over the bar, he's got a hat for him that bit. And he knew he could because I bet in training he had done it. And like I was saying about Kevin Hennessy this morning, he knew he could pull on the ground because he blew him did it in training and he had to do it. And listen, lads, if we're honest, you won't do often anyway except what you like to do. That's the way I hold it. Is it now? Ah, yeah, well, that's not bad, but if you want to be a real horror, huh? That's the way you should hold it, you know? That's the way I always hold it. Ah, that's right. So this is the way you're going to hold it now. Because, and I go so far with young lads and say, well, all right, so, but you won't be on our team. I can tell you that now, because I don't want on our team only good hurlers. If you want to win a hurling match, you want hurlers. And that's true. And you must get them to do the right way. And lads are notorious for accepting themselves if they get away with it, you know. And uh, that's why you must, if you're going to take a lads for coaching, you're the boss. And you say half three, you better be there yourself, or half four, or whatever it is. And also, we're going to do that. Because if you come out and say, well, lads, what will we have? Will we have a match or what? Oh, we have a match. And what will happen in the match? They keep on repeating all the wrong things that you don't want them to do. So you must do the coaching part of it. That's very important. I know there are two lads near me at home now, in another town. And <laughs> I don't laugh so much that I feel sorry. I, whenever I happen to go in there, there, there they are. They were, Wellington Bulls, hands deep in pockets, and the lads are playing a match. And the biggest bully is bullying and getting away with it. And the biggest bully is wailing away, catching it wrongly, and frightening half of them, intimidating the rest, and getting away with it because he's big, and never learning hurling. Remember I said that that's very important. So you must try and get the skill. And again, Pat, when it comes to pulling, it's how quickly, isn't it? You know, have you anything to say on that, Pat? Do please 